Okay, that, that, can I ask you a question? Sure. Because I've been wanting to ask you this. This is a personal question okay. I want to ask you. Oh, I love personal questions. Okay, you love personal. It's not that personal. I'm not asking you, like, when does your first day of cycle start? But I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. How did you get into the sports world? Were you an athlete at first and then, like, fell into it? Like, <laughs> how did you get into this world? Uh, well, you know what? I got into it because um, I was the neighborhood tomboy, right? And mm -hmm. so, you know, back in those olden days, people, uh -huh. we had to read the newspaper mm -hmm. to keep up with our favorite sports teams. So that's how I developed the love of writing and of journalism. And once I figured out that you can put two of the things I love the most together, which is sports and writing, um, this is a dream that I pursued since I was uh, in 10th grade. Wow. I, I mean, a lot of times when you're young, you switch careers and professions four or five different times. You know, you might grow up wanting to be a firefighter or something like right, that, right. and then you change over time. But the only thing I've ever wanted to do was this. Plus, um, I can't really do math. So, you know, that really wasn't my testimony and neither was worked science. Out. Hello, right, hello. So it worked out. out. Only math I can do is when I'm counting things that's green. Uh, one dollar, 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 I can count that check dollar, dollar, all day. <laughs> now, you're no stranger to speaking out, okay? And speaking your mind for yourself, for the athletes. Do you think that the professional leagues have changed a little and, and, and doing better with taking care of the athletes or what? Yeah, they've changed in terms of being more open to athletes speaking their mind, but they didn't change because they felt like it was the right thing to do. They changed because public opinion drugged them that way. Sports fans today of this generation are a lot different. They want to know that the athletes that they watch, that they stand for something. And um, I think a lot of athletes feel a deeper responsibility to use their platforms for something bigger and beyond just their sports. And so because companies saw with the Black Lives Matter movement, where, where we were as a country last uh, year, that they knew that they could no longer have this hardline stance to stay in your lane, only stick to sports. And now they see that the only way that they will have credibility with their fan base as if they allow their athletes to speak their mind. Now, it's not perfect because I think there's a line to be drawn in all of these leagues, but for now, um, they're a little more open to it. Oh, man, I got a thousand questions. Go ahead, Bianca. Oh, no, no, look, you've been very vocal about civil rights and activism and all that. What are your thoughts on mandatory patriotism? And uh, it's whack. Patriotism is about love for country, and that love is not based off an anthem, and it's not based on a flag. It's a ba based off the fact that we want this to be a better place, and we're gonna hold this country to the ideals that they said that they stood for. Everything that's written on the Statue of Liberty about bring us your sick, your tired, your poor, we're gonna hold them to that. They promised democracy and freedom. That's what the love of country is. I feel like every time I pay my taxes, there you go. That's my patriotism. One hundred percent. I am still shouting you out, IRS. Send me a birthday card or a thank you note. The amount of money I pay y'all in taxes, I can open up five schools with. I'm yes, telling you. Yes, I'm yes, telling yes, you. Yes, I'm yes. telling you. Okay. Ain't that the truth?